welcome to your lesson on getting to know yourself. So you're starting to pick up that a lot of Ayurveda is about noticing how you fit into nature, but then we're so used to looking at things and taking everything in. What do I see? What do I hear? What do I feel on my skin? Everything through our senses that sometimes we neglect to understand how that's actually affecting us inwardly. So getting to know yourself and getting to know how to handle emotions that come up, memories that come up, how to handle the, the racing thoughts, Ayurveda's got some tips for that. So here's the thing. The reason that you wanna look is because you want to start to understand what helps you and what hinders you. If you start to notice the things that actually work, even if they work just a little bit, and just start doing a little bit more of that, you'll start to see a difference. You can't help but. If I decided that today I wanted to become a soccer player, and I got myself a soccer ball, and I started kicking it against the garage door every day, within a few months of my doing that every day, I'm going to get better at it even if I just do it for 10 minutes a day. My skill will improve. So it's all about creating good habits because good habits, though they may be difficult to begin, are really easy to live with. Bad habits on the other hand, which I have a lot of experience with, bad habits are really easy to pick up. But in the long run, they're very hard to live with. In fact, it's the bad habits that cause our sense of dis-ease. So what can I do about it? The thing is, you need to schedule time to actually check in with yourself. Daily is preferable. Daily you can check in with, how's my body feeling today? What's my mood today? Knowing that every day can be a little bit different and that we can start our day over at any point it's good to just check in. Maybe it's, maybe it's every morning, maybe it's at night before you go to sleep, but check in with yourself daily. Just notice what's going on. Don't wait for someone out there to ask you what's going on. Ask yourself. Turn your, 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 your awareness inward and think, how's my lower back? How's that right knee doing? How's my shoulder today? and really pay attention to what your body has to say in return. And then we want to check in with ourselves well over the over the year because when, as the seasons change everything outside changes and we need to change with it. We need to alter what we're eating, sometimes alter what we're doing. When we go against nature, when we when we go against what actually is and don't accept things, that's where the unease actually comes in. So checking in with yourself and scheduling a checking in with yourself is a good idea. Another thing that you can do if you tend to be somebody who ruminates a lot and worries about what's coming up or something that you did, set yourself aside a journal that is just for your worries. And then every time those worries really come up, you grab that journal, you write them all out and then leave those worries there. And sometime when you're not so freaked out, you can go back and look at them. Often what you'll find is that the worries that you wrote down seem very trivial once you go back to them. But that's not necessarily the case. They may stay just as bad, but they're there in a book. So writing down your worries, putting them aside, check it, check it later. And then another thing that you can do is also notice the positive things that are happening. So maybe there's another gratitude journal that every time you notice a beautiful sunset or that you walk through your neighborhood and noticed uh, that the, the lemon trees were especially ripe and beautiful and fragrant or you noticed that the new family that moved in down the block has got some very cheerful children whatever it is, start noticing something new that brings that feeling of warmth to your heart 
and take note of those things. And then when you're feeling a little down, that's the list that you grab to see what are the things I'm grateful for? What are the things that I noticed that are actually uh, adding to my life? Little victories, once you've done something like this, once you've set up these little programs and set up a journal for this and a practice for that, remember to reward yourself. And that's where you come in because only you know what's gonna reward you. When I was a kid and I used to practice the piano, I would reward much. I would line up uh, M&Ms at the top of the piano, and when I would finish a particularly difficult passage after you know 15 or 20 tries, I would allow myself an M&M. So, what is your M&M? Maybe it's a massage. Maybe it's time to yourself. Maybe it's planning a trip. I don't know. What's the thing that's going to make you go? So, celebrating those small victories are important because then you'll want to keep having more small victories because everybody likes to be rewarded. So think about what gives you satisfaction. Uh, is there a hobby that you've been meaning to try? Something that you've been looking at for a while but you just haven't quite done the steps to do it? Maybe it's getting back in touch with somebody that you haven't talked to in a long time. What is it that brings you joy? Do more of that and start to notice what that is because you're worth knowing and you're only get to know, gonna get to know yourself if you spend that good quality time with yourself. Putting aside the worries, putting aside the things that you need to do to just be with yourself. You might discover that you're a lot of fun, that you're deeply insightful that you're more patient and more kind and more generous than you thought you were. But you're never gonna know those things unless you quiet what's going on outside of you so that you can sit still and get to know who you are. And I hope that someday I get to know who you are. You can always contact me. All the information is all around you on this website. And I just wish that your journey inward is as fruitful as mine was. I wish you peace. I'll see you in the next lesson.